Guys, there was a Willy Wonka experience being sold to children and parents in the UK. And when they showed up, they were so disappointed with the results that they called the police. It was a travesty. Police were called to an immersive Willy Wonka experience after families arrived to an empty warehouse. The event allegedly charged $40 for entry, featured an AI art advertisement, and claimed the event is a journey filled with wondrous creations and enchanting surprises at every turn. Here is, uh, here's the AI image <laughs> right here. Let's look at this image. Doesn't quite live up to the expectations. What this looks like is people getting lured into a warehouse oh, to yeah. get trafficked yes. and then brought to their chocolatey death. They charged $45 for this. This looks like something out of Saw. Kids were all dressed up, crying, waiting for what they thought was going to be a magical experience. And th this is what they got. Th this was what they got. It's just an empty warehouse with this like pitiful fold-out table that has plastic yes. cups with orange juice in it. Um, it's it's giving Firefest. It's giving Firefest. It's giving DashCon, if any, any of you at, know what that is. I love the garbage bag that's just on the floor next to it. Um, and then, I'm and then this, this one Oompa Loompa. This poor lady. Made our day. She just looks so utterly dejected. Just so thoroughly empty inside. Like she hates her life. Maybe she loves it. Maybe I'm judging too, too harshly. That uh, She could. She, for all we know, they caught a bad picture of her and she actually loves her job. But uh, I'm just saying that... When, Who is this woman and what is her story? Yes, I need to know. But it's not just that. You also pointed out that there's something hinky going on with the company running this. Yeah, so I did a little bit of research. I went to the Willy Wonka Chocolate Experience website and found out that their organizer is something called House of Illuminati. The company is literally called House of Illuminati. They're the event organizer. And they said, welcome to the House of Illuminati, a realm where fantasy and reality converge to create unparalleled immersive experiences. This is already written by ChatGPT. Our journey is fueled by a passion for blending art, technology, and storytelling into unforgettable events. From avant-garde performances to grand interactive galas, each event is a meticulously crafted adventure. The best is the, <laughs> um, the best is the spelling mistakes here. In churning entertainment. Yes. Cat gacating, <laughs> live performances, Carchy tons. Carchy tons, exercere lollipops. A passadice of sweet <laughs> A paradise of sweet teats. <laughs> and, I, and the parents are just like, checks out. <laughs> <laughs> like, you gotta blame the parents on some level, like, for not doing any of the research. Like, how would you get past this page on the website? And, like, I'll, I'll give my money. Um, I'm sure my kids won't be in danger at all. <laughs> and, like, all of the images on the House of Illuminati website, literally all of them are made by AI. Yeah, so there's no proof that they've actually ever put on a real event that is this spectacular. Sweet teens. <laughs> also, how did they get the uh, copyright? It's they don't say Wonka. It just says Willie's. It just says Willie's. It's just supposed to evoke. Oh, Willy okay. Wonka. That's how they Willy's got away with it. Willie's chocolate experience. First of all, I'm not. You're not taking your kid to anything called Willie's chocolate experience. Just no. just immediately no. Immediately, no. So they showed up, and it was just so bad. Like, they, they just show up, and it's so shitty that they're like, we need to report this to the police. Like there's definitely... And the UK police don't have anything better to do, like so they there's... showed up. Yes, because they can't arrest anybody that actually commits right. crimes. But uh, there's definitely some, like, fentanyl lollipops in there. What, what is this? Just, like, shower curtains with stripes on them with, with, hung with... on clothesline. Yep. It's, it looks perfectly like I imagined it to in the, in the photo. It looks it's perfectly like good. Your kid is not at risk. So, uh, <laughs> picnic one tables and then a bouncy house in the corner. One parent, Eileen Butcher, called the whole debacle an absolute disgrace, <laughs> telling the Daily Record it took all of one minute to walk through this thing while also included a lone table strewn with jelly beans. The tickets were reportedly 35 bucks a pop. 
Another parent, Stuart Sinclair, spilled all the beans on Ooh. Facebook. Get it? Explaining he traveled two hours for the event only for his kids to walk away with two measly jelly babies and a quarter of a can of bar limeade. Mm. It was apparently quite a scene in the would-be chocolate factories. Actors were reportedly up in arms. The actors who were hired to be there also were like, what is going on? Mm -hmm. Many of whom confronted the owner and demanded refunds. I want to know who this organizer is. Who yes. is the owner of House of Illuminati and, and what are they going to say? They well, just, it says House of Illuminati is a partner with it, so this is likely not the guy. They issued a, uh, an apology for the stressful and frustrating day. Mm -hmm. They acknowledged that canceling it earlier might have spared everyone a lot of frustration, and they issued 850 refunds so far. Well, at least they did that. Everyone was like, I was expecting a Timothy Chalamet meet and greet. Yeah. I was expecting a chocolate fountain. I mean, the lights, the action, all the production. Again, all you have to do is look at this photo and then look at this photo. It's just <laughs> so, it's so bad. The Oompa Loompa, though, like, she's just the, the cherry on top of a fantastic That one is That event. one is really good right there. I love the bouncy house that's just in the back. There's uh, just, like, dirty, expired jelly beans if everywhere. If anything, what it does is it, it puts the job of an event organizer, like a party organizer, into perspective. Yeah. Just how much work actually goes into it. Yeah. And if you guys don't remember, DashCon was this Tumblr convention. <laughs> yep. It was, like... It was it was marketed as like everyone's gonna come here for like meeting creators and like all of these events and meet and greets and you you have to pay like hundreds of dollars and then you show up and it's just a warehouse that had like a kid's ball pit in it and like twenty people showed up. At least the parents got the got their refunds. Hopefully, hopefully everyone got their refunds because that is not a good. How the hell did they even get this many people to sign up? I was like, the thing is like. Wouldn't it have been better to like make your horrible design and just put up pictures of it and then whoever comes then they at least can't complain that you advertise hey, falsely to them. The images are here. It's a gallery. It is. That, it's an AI can, art gallery. They can use this from now on to start uh, to start advertising for their next one. But the uh, House of Illuminati probably uh, should be looked into perhaps. Yeah. Sounds suspicious, for sure. Categating live performances. Why, <laughs> how does it get performances right, but can't spell catchy? It got entertainment right. Yeah, but couldn't spell enchanting, or what yeah. I'm assuming is supposed... Maybe that's supposed to say eschewing entertainment. I have no idea. But I'm guessing, it's supposed, to, I'm guessing it's supposed to say enchanting, <laughs> uh, but it got entertainment right. That's crazy. So, guys, whatever you do, if you go online and you look for uh, something to do with your family, perhaps make sure there's actual photos there. Rather than, um, you know, fake ones. And shouts out to the, the Oompa Loompa. You're, you're, you're a queen. soldier. You're a queen. Thanks for watching. Listen to full episodes of Pop Culture Crisis on Spotify. Keep up with us on social media and make sure you subscribe and ring that bell so you never miss the show. Bye, guys.